let's just check them on plain yogurt, see if it's like green yogurt, or possibly it could be the, the flavoring that's in there, or it could be something else. And we can check them on straight fruit and see if that is an issue as well. And also we can check. Okay. Again, then it will go over with this. All right, and you're good. So let me get this all set up. Good. Okay. We're going to check for great yogurt and wine. So yogurt and wine, he is weight on all levels on this, on the yogurt and wine. Okay. So we're going to go check the food coloring. We'll click the button into this. No, more out of spot. Okay. No problem with that. There we go. But you're going to be holding on to this, okay? Now what I'd like you to do is you're going to go ahead and turn over and model over this and we'll go to the breathing. Okay, right then. And that. Then that's breathing. And we'll do that same place. Yeah. It's it. Okay, so we're going to recheck there again. I'm going to go back in and just check and see if it was holding in the other place. Things actually really, really, really good. Hi, I'm Dr. Jacob Teitelbaum. I'm an internist and medical director of the Annapolis Research Center for Effective CFS and Fibromyalgia Therapies. Having practiced medicine for about 30 years now, we have realized that there are many illnesses that doctors think are incurable that can be effectively treated. These include chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, hyperactivity, and autism. What happens in modern medicine is that unless something is very expensive, in other words, surgery or an expensive pharmaceutical, nobody can pay to put it through the FDA process. This means if it is not expensive and not patentable, your doctor is not going to hear about it. And sadly in medicine, even if there's really good science behind something, if your doctor doesn't hear about it, he believes it doesn't exist. The treatments are simple. They simply hold a vial that has that allergen in it. And you hit several uh, pressure points along the spine. You just gently touch them and for the acupressure points. In fact, the first time I got in contact with NAT was I had horrible ragweed hay fever allergies. And uh, this gal in town said, I can help you with that. And I said, that voodoo is not gonna help my hay fever, leave me alone. Right. You know. And one day I was especially miserable and she said, stop being a nitwit and let me treat you. And I said, okay. Right. And it was like somebody turned off a faucet in my nose. The hay fever went away and never came back. And that, that's when I started exploring it. But it was a very simple thing, it was simply hitting several right. pressure points. And you do this over a week? You do it, it's a 20 minute treatment. You do it twice a week.